Welcome to this tutorial chapter 1. I will show you how I draw the bug phone using Adobe Illustrator. Later I will make some more video tutorials about adding the leaves, making the background black and the last one will deal with shading. First of all you have to know about the tools I will use. Most important is you make the layer panel visible and also the stroke size. You're doing this by selecting window and clicking on layers stroke. The main tools I will use to do this are the selecting tools which is a black and a white selecting tool and by using the black selecting tool the object is selected in a square. You can scale, move or rotate the object. just like this. Pressing Ctrl Z is the undo key. But as we want to scale within proportion you have to hold down the shift key and drag one corner and then it scales within proportions. The other shortcuts I use are in the treat I started, so you will see me doing them, but no time to explain them as I only have 10 minutes. So let's start. I already added some layers. By pressing here, you can add a new layer. You can also move the layers up and down by selecting and dragging into a new position by holding down the left mouse key. You, you also can rename the layers to make them more clear. Another thing you can make uh, the layers visible, not visible and you can lock them. And as you see the border which I already added is locked as I don't want to move it. I also made the document setup at 60 40 millimeters because when it's done I want to print it real size ready to transfer. So for now I'm going to do this live just to demonstrate don't know if I come out with a real nice backbone design but I will give it a try. So I select first this one press down, hold down the control key, press the C, then press V to make a copy, drag it, scale it while holding down the shift key, rotate it, so I place it uh, here to have a start, okay now I will uh, add another one like this control C control V scale drag rotate scale more so this will be somewhere here so scale even more Okay, now uh, next I can add one in there. Control C, V, uh, here, scale it. Okay. And as you see, these lines are too long. I will cut them off later, perhaps. Uh, but I can add, make a copy of this one. Control C, V. Uh, scale it, rotate it, makes it fit in the area. Okay, here is a gap. Uh, 
perhaps I can use this control C control V rotate it so this could perhaps work we'll see touch border drag it a bit up like this so it doesn't it isn't really smooth in here but we fix that perhaps later make a copy of this one rotate and scale this perhaps uh, so there's another gap here um, could fill it perhaps with one of these again control C V rotate scale so it could come out of this stem so I know it doesn't look like a real good backbone design yet. This one is not good there, but I could uh, perhaps place it here. Scale a bit. So now uh, it doesn't look really good I know but I will fix something using the white selecting tool I can cut this using the eraser tool by clicking there white mouse this one press delete it's gone this one get it uh, there white one delete this part uh, same uh, same here so I also can make the curve better this one uh, I can I can change it like this this one like that so okay this is a backbone no, not uh, a good one but just a demonstration so and I can uh, even make a duplicate of this one make it invisible and work uh, on the copy so I can have several backbones till one suits me Thank you for looking and listening. Bye.